On today's Maker Mashup, we're building electronic project boards. So on today's Maker Mashup, we're gonna be working on these project boards for electronics. Now I call them tostadas because like a real tostada, good things go on top. So how this project started was that Elegoo, who is sponsoring this video, had reached out to me and said, hey, we'd love to send you one of our electronic kits and do anything you want with it. Well, as I gave that some thought, I started thinking about how I would apply one of these starter kits from Elegoo to things that we do on the channel. So after a little bit of thought, I really couldn't come up with a way except for using these parts in different projects to really come up with a way to make a, a video specific to this Elegoo product. So I looked at this as a good opportunity to do some collaboration. I know that Arcade Classroom, who is in our channel Discord all the time, talking about different projects that they're working on with their students, I thought, what an opportunity to build something that is related to uh, STEM work. I really like giving back to the STEM community as a whole when I have opportunities to, because when I was in middle school, a middle school teacher really got me into electronics and technology, and that really changed my life. So for this project, what I wanted to do was to create something that was really something for STEM teachers to use and that they could educate with this project. So I reached out to Elegoo and said, hey, I'd like to do a collaboration with Arcade Classroom. Can you send them a kit? I'm gonna build these project boards and then we'll do a video on it so that way STEM teachers can see how these can be used in the classroom to really help students in education. So let's talk about these project boards. So they're 3D printed project boards, but what makes them really, really cool is they're magnetic. And for a teacher, having magnetic boards like this gives them the opportunity to add some organization to this project kit that Elegoo has put together. So as a starter kit, it makes sense that you've got a single kit and a lot of parts in it. But when you start introducing 15, 30, or even more students, it starts to really become cumbersome for teachers on how to organize their projects. So we came up with a way that you're able to create these project boards and attach electronics to them. And they come in various sizes. Obviously, I've got one for a small breadboard here, and I've also got one for an Arduino, but the project files, which are in the description, also have ones for Raspberry Pis and larger breadboards as well. Plus, all of the original source files are there, and being a public domain project, you can use these little boards for anything that you wanna use them for. So you can resize them and create all of these different project boards for whatever you're teaching. What makes that really, really nice is it's not limited to just STEM. If you happen to run a makerspace or even if you have children at home that are interested in electronics, these project boards allow you to put their work on the refrigerator. So it's a really cool way to get somebody inspired into electronics. So in today's video, we're gonna cover how to put these together, and then we're gonna shoot out to a fellow Washington where Arcade Classroom is gonna show you how they use this in their STEM teaching, and then we'll come back here and wrap everything up. So with all that said, let's get to work. So we really only need a few parts for this project, one of which is the 3D prints, which you'll print yourself. The other piece that we're gonna need are some magnets. And I have links to these magnets down in the description, but basically if it's a three millimeter by six millimeter round magnet, it'll work with this project. We're also gonna need to glue everything together with a glue gun, so you'll need one of those as well. We'll need a couple of M3 screws to be able to mount that to the 3D print. However, for the breadboards, all that we'll have to do is remove the double-sided backing here, and they'll stick right onto the breadboard prints. Assembly is going to go pretty quick if you use one of these metal sheets or a piece of sheet metal underneath and that is because the magnets will then attach to the metal and hold the board down while you're assembling it. Now if you do this without the board, the magnets can actually uh, pop up 
because the magnetic field is so strong around the entire area. So I definitely recommend doing this on a piece of metal like this because it'll make the assembly so much easier. So we're gonna start by just inserting three magnets into the center. And then the big key is to rotate these magnets around. So we're gonna go ahead and just take one off and put it in there. And then we're gonna use the other end here and rotate the magnets around. So that way the north and south poles will line up with the other side. So you just put them in, rotating the polarity. And once all the magnets are in, they'll stay attached to the metal plate. The next step is pretty simple. You're gonna to wanna to drop in just a little bit of hot glue and not melt the 3D print. And that's just to hold them in place. Now that that's all done, we're just gonna attach our Arduino board here and we're gonna go ahead and screw it in with some M3 screws. So now that we have this assembled, you'll see it fits right onto the metal plate and we can't even shake it off. So it's really a secure way to keep your projects in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how Arcade Classroom used this in their educational STEM setting. Hi everyone, I'm Stacey Zabinski. And I'm Michael Zabinski. And together we are Arcade, Arcade Classroom. Classroom. We are K6 educators working out of Othello, Washington, and we focus on STEM in the classroom. We love doing things with all sorts of really cool educational technology, and we truly believe in putting the coolest technology in our students' hands so they can make some really, really awesome stuff. So while working with our awesome Elegoo starter kit, we noticed something that was kind of troublesome. Um, you can see that all the parts are very, very, very separate. And they come in all sorts of different cool little bins for them all to hang out in, but some of them get really, really tiny. And well, of course, the power of these starter kits and having all these different components is it allows the students to fabricate anything they want because it is just full of so many different components. The problem that we had as educators is that once you get one, two, three, four, six kits in a classroom, those components end up all over the counter and the students can never find what they need. And of course, those teeny tiny parts start to go missing. When Makers Mashup approached me with the idea for this project, that was the very first thing that came to my mind, that once I put this kit in front of my students, it's going to be everywhere. And while that may work if you have one classroom with one set of students, I unfortunately have 700 students and 32 different classes. So I needed a way that the students could still work with the prototyping components, but not have it all over the counter. Organization is probably one thing that would really, really help this kit out. And so with the help of Makers Mashup, we were able to have our students be a little bit more organized and also make things fit together a little bit better. So what they did was they 3D printed these little parts and we put magnets in each of the little slots that you can see through the bottom. And the nice part is because they were flat on top, we were able to put mini breadboards on top using the self-adhesive stick. The mini breadboards made a lot of sense because every single one of the components in here works with the mini breadboard. They can fit in the pin connectors and basically make it super duper easy to put everything together. And since they were on the small little 3D printed parts, they just magnetized together, which still allows for flexibility, but control on the countertop. So one of the problems we still faced with this project was if a student is not done, how to keep their wiring and everything still together. But the nice part is with the magnets, all I have to do is put a little metal plate and then the student's projects will magnetize to it and stay together with no problem. Our sixth grade STEM students really enjoyed working with this project, all the way from the beginning, printing the 3D parts, adding the magnets, putting on the mini breadboards to the end, being able to wire up and program and see their prototyping projects in action. They had a great time and doing this made it really fun, very accessible and very flexible without having parts all over the counters. 
We wanted to make sure that we gave a special thanks to Elegoo for providing us with this awesome kit and also Maker's Mashup for the 3D designs of the mini breadboard holders. So from Arcade Classroom, we want to say a big thank you. I really like working on STEM projects like this because it really gives me the ability to kind of give back to the community and to STEM teachers. I know that back in the 80s when I was in middle school, they really didn't have STEM programs like they are today. And I had a science teacher who took it upon himself to really encourage me to get into electronics and science. And that really changed my career forever. So I definitely want to thank Arcade Classroom for their work on this project. Project. And of course, I want to thank Elegoo for sponsoring this project. Uh, they came to me and said that they wanted to uh, just have me put together a, a small couple of electronics uh, projects or do whatever I wanted to do with it. And I really had the opportunity to change this project into something that I think will help STEM teachers and educators alike. So with that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to click subscribe and then also remember to share this video with your friends and your social networking because this video you never know when someone in STEM will see a video like this and use this in their own project so for that I say thank you for watching and thank you for sharing this video with different STEM teachers because I really do hope that this is a project that STEM teachers as a whole or any educator can take advantage of. So with that, I wanna say thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.